you slept? No time to sleep. The stuff needs doing. What stuff? The house it isn't secure. How do you mean? We need to stop him from getting in. Look, Sarah Callum is dead, all right? That lead bloke was just trying to scare you. Can you please just look after Harry for an hour? Uh, hang on, where are you going? Don't leave the house until I get back, OK? Just keep the doors locked. Sarah. Sarah, wait. She's lost it. She needs help. Oh, I'll get dressed. I'll go Proper on. help, David. I told you, no shrinks. She thinks Callum's coming to get her. Yeah, well, we both know that ain't going to happen, don't we? Morning. Sorry I'm late. Had a rough night. All right, if you're not feeling up to it. No, I'll be OK when I get some caffeine down me. So, what have we got on today again? We're going to fix that new shelf at the cabin. So it's handy that the police returned our tools. Well, did not say anything to you? Well, they found nothing, obviously. I can do the cabin if you'd rather sort these. Would I rather sort me tools or spend the morning with Norris? <laughs> well, you would, wouldn't you? No, it's OK. I'll keep my mind busy. Listen, your dad's bag can stay hidden for as long as you want. Don't worry. I better get you a cup of coffee if you're going to face Norris. <laughs> What are you going to do? I'm going to find her, bring her home, talk to her. Talk to her? David, she's having a breakdown. We can't keep covering this up. We're going to have to tell Gail at least. No way. Mommy. David, you're not finished the milk again. No. Well, that makes a change. Uh, you and Sarah have made up. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we did, yeah. Watch it. <clears throat> Do you never eat breakfast at Nick's? You only has healthy stuff. Where's my mum? Do you know I was going to ask the same thing? Um, she, uh... I mean, is she all right? I woke up about three, thought I heard her moving about. I mean, she and David have made up, haven't they? I mean, honestly, those two, ever Is since... Is this why she was in a weird mood last night? Bethany, you... Your mum's not very well. I hope she's not got my tickly cough. No, she... She's not coping very well with Callum's death. She needs medical help. <laughs> what? Well, I know she's shaken. We all are. Gail, she's lost the plot. I'm sorry, but it's true. Claudia suggested highlights. Nothing too drastic. What do you think? I say go for it. I don't want to look too jazzy. No, no, they'd suit you, wouldn't they, Kirk? Don't ask me. I don't know anything about anything. There you go. Oh, and uh, custard slice as well. Is this another one of our little secrets? Uh, well, if you wouldn't mind. I've got a bit of a foodie image to keep up. Yeah, but nothing beats a factory-made pastry. Oh, it doesn't. Uh, don't worry about them. I... Like your style? Thank you. Yeah. What's the matter? I've got a speeding ticket. What, you? Give over. I doubt whether you've ever even reached the speed limit. Well, exactly. Well, that's a mistake. Well, they have my registration numbers. Oh, morning. Morning, all. Grab a penny. That hob needs a good clean. Yes, boss. <laughs> hey. How are things? Not bad. Any job prospects? Why is that any of your business? Look, I know you'd rather Nick was still running the bistro. But how do you fancy coming back to work? Oh, we've been through this. No, hear me out. I'm not proud 
of how I acquired it. If I'm a good chef, I run a good kitchen, and I could run a good restaurant. That's why do you need me, then? If I had a strong front-of-house presence. Now, I have many skills, but being constantly warm and welcoming is not one of them. You don't say. And I'll give you a 25% pay rise. Oh, forget it. Oh, come on, Leanne, just a few shifts. No. OK, 30%. I suggest you go and work on your warm and welcoming. Oh, and uh, leave the custard off your chin. Hi, uh, it's Jason around. He's out on a job, love. Can I help? Yeah, I need um, number eight making more secure. OK, in what way? I need new locks on the front door and the back door, and I need the um, the windows bolting. Actually, in fact, can you just can you board them up? And then I'm going to need um, a security light and a panic button. Whoa, 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 whoa! What's all this for? It's to keep him out. To keep who out? I need it doing today. Is everything okay, love? So I've been to the bank, so I can pay you in cash. So it's a it's a hundred. Is that all right? Well, it's new locks, it's more like 200. Can you come now? I just got a couple of bits to finish off here and I'll be straight over. Good. Ah, I've been looking all over for you. What are you doing here? I'm just sorting some things out. Sorry, she, she's been a bit stressed the past few days. We were just chatting. Right, well, come on, you need to get home. Harry needs you. Why not? Oh, how many more times? You've got it all wrong. Why are the pots of kids films? Oh, only Toy Story 3. It were complicated. Forget it. I said I love the bones off you. Cheers, Alex. That you were spiritual. How many times can I say I'm sorry? Perky! Don't start. Alex? You can almost see her face in that. Yes, very commendable. Um, <clears throat> I need to ask you something. Yes, well, I accept a pay rise. Have you driven my car? Why would I drive your car? I have no idea. I'm not allowed to drive. Yeah. No matter, that. Uh, sorry for asking. So, what are you saying? She needs to see a doctor. A psychiatrist, you mean? She's just a bit stressed, that's all. Yes, and with good reason. She's just had a baby. Exactly. She's got the baby blues. There's nothing strange about that. Oh, Angel. Come on. Come on, sweetheart. Yes. Oh. We're going to be safe now, cos Mummy's sorted it. See, there's nothing wrong with her. Why? What have you said? That she's lost it. David, they need to know the truth. What truth? Nothing, Mum. She's fine. Of course she is. Things have happened. Look, she's just a bit strung out, that's all. And last thing she needs is to hear us talking about her behind her back. I agree. Good. So conversation over. Uh, no. There's something you're not telling me and I need to know what. Hey. You all right? Well, he's disappeared. He's left the bed seat. He's not in the hostel. Really? I thought you said he washed your hands of him. Yeah, well, I, I wanted to, but, you know, after the anger had died down, it, he's still my brother. Really? You can't help somebody who doesn't want to be helped. Even if you're related to him, especially if you're related to him. <sighs> Look, you've done your best, all right? So no more of this self-hating vicar stuff, all right? Oh, Sarah. I've not seen her today. I was going to go on my break. You want to come? I've got a uh, church council meeting. Yeah, it's as scintillating as it sounds, yeah. but I'll tell her I'll, I'll drop him after it's finished. Hopefully explain about Lee, maybe undo some of the damage he's done. Yeah, all right. But no more blaming yourself, yeah? Right. Yeah? No more self-hating, Vicar. Thank you. 
So, how was it? Were they all glamorous and successful? They went to the same school as Beth. Spill. Oh, I was an idiot. No. Well, there was a stupid, snobby cow there. We've got his own business and we live in a converted monastery. A what? Hmm, Sally would have loved her. Mm. Anyway, I wanted to shut her up, so I told her Kirky was a chiropractor and that we lived in a quayside <laughs> apartment. <laughs> it's not that unlikely. Mm. But she saw through it anyway. So I told her the truth. Kirky heard me, thought I was dissing him, which I want. I told the cow how amazing he was. I don't believe me. So, tell him again. Well, I've tried. No, he'll come round. You two are solid. Billy's brother? Well, I take it he's not a vicar, then. Oh, was she hurt? She's OK, but it really shook her up. Look, why didn't you call the police? We thought it best not to. He basically kidnapped her. Well, I won't go that far. Well, it sounds like it. I don't understand. Why did she go with him? And why didn't you tell us? We're telling you now. Well, I'm not surprised she's shaken up. I mean, who wouldn't be? There's nothing abnormal in that. The point is, she thinks Callum's still alive. She went to his funeral. And that he's coming after her. Oh, don't be so stupid. Look, she's just got a bit confused, that's all. I'm telling you, Gail, she needs to see a doctor. Oh, you're making this up. No, we need to talk to Nick. Why? Because he has experience of mental health issues. Well, it's not mental health it issues. It is, David! I am not making any decisions until we've spoken to Nick. And your grand too. All right, let's 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 just all calm down, shall we? Well, you're not talking about my mum without me there. Well, of course not. What have you done? She's your sister, David. Don't you care about her at all? Yeah, of course I do. She's got kids, a baby. Yeah, and so have we. Look, if she confesses, then they're all going to lose their parents, aren't they? Well, that's just a risk we're going to have to take. Little twin out. <laughs> I thought surprise baby was just too many burgers. Really, is that worth two pounds fifty? The, honestly, the people who write in to those sort of please don't do that when I'm serving a customer. You've had people in and out of here all morning, Norris. Do you want this doing or not? Yes, but not at the expense of my business. If the customer could choose between you drilling and you wittering. Yes, pay your sweeter. And you have gone a hundred times worse since Emily went. And I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you never shut up. What will happen you're deprived of conversation at all? Well, can I carry on or not? Yes, of course, I, love. Yeah. Oh, it's not straight. Hey, look. Oh, sorry, I've not really been sleeping very well at the moment. I'm not surprised, love. Honestly, I don't know what we pay you for. It's a good job I noticed. <laughs> Eyes like a spirit level, me. Tongue like a rat. Mm. Right. Are you sure she really believes that? Yeah. I see her every day and she hasn't mentioned Callum once. She thinks she's protecting you. <sighs> I mean, isn't it a bit dramatic? We've all had difficult times, been over emotional, but men in white coats. No one's saying that, Grant. <laughs> Needing psychiatric treatment. Does mean you're a lunatic? Look, in my day, if you got upset and stressed... She's not stressed. Oh. She's delusional. When Gail was a month old, I hadn't had any sleep for weeks, and I thought I saw Larry Grace standing in my living room. It's not the same thing, ma'am. It sounds the same to me, Gail. There is nothing wrong with my mum. There you go. All done. And I said that I wanted them boarding and the windows. It's tough and glass. It's not going to stop him. And uh, I want the back doing, and can I have a chain on there, please? Look, love, if somebody wants to get in, the chain's not going to stop them. You need a, a new door, something reinforced. Why did you not tell me that this morning? Can you get one? Yeah, it'll cost a lot more. I don't care. What about the panic button? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on? The lady's asked me to do some work, and I'm doing it. Callum's coming. Callum? Pat, I think you better go. The lady's asked me to do some hey, work. Hey, hey, Pat. Shoot yourself. Hey, look, Sarah, Sarah. You've got to listen to me now. Callum, he's not coming. 
You know he is. He's not getting it. Listen, listen, Sarah, Callum is dead. Listen to me. I thought that you understood. I thought you knew. He's fooling you like he's fooled the rest no, of them. No, 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 no. David, it's Todd. Listen, I think you better come home, mate. Oh, it's you. What are you doing home? Oh, I've got my pack lunch. Oh, and can you send my football camp for me now? Hmm? Well, you said I could go. Oh, sorry, I don't think I can afford that. Oh, but you promised. Yeah, I know I did, but that was before it all kicked off of the bistro. Well, you said if I kept out of trouble and I saw my counsellor. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm waiting for this all year. Everyone else is going. <sighs> all right, well, I'll, I'll try and sort something out. Really? Yeah. Wicked. <laughs> see ya. Yeah, see ya. Please. I'm counting. Really? I'm sorry. I've lost count now. <sighs> I don't want to know. Did you actually say the word sorry? Yes. Now, if it was me, I would show, not tell. What does that mean? You know, wing wing. Hey. Have you got something in your eye? Take him to the bedroom and show him how much you love him. I get you. If it is, I think you might be right. Hmm. Oh, a little less uh, butter, my friend. The doc says I have to watch my cholesterol. Sure. Mm. But a little more mayonnaise, please. A bit more. Right. Ta da! What do you think? A what? Me <laughs> You look gorgeous. It looks the same as it always does. Which is gorgeous. Ah, good afternoon. I, I hope I have the right department. I've been issued with an erroneous speeding ticket. Er erroneous. It, it, it means wrong. Because at the time of issue, the vehicle was parked outside my home. AEW423A. I'll halt. Roy? I've had my hair blow dried. Why is it always with Valley? I was going to get highlights, but Audrey wasn't there, some family emergency. It's not like I don't trust Maria. Well, I wasn't. No, otherwise I wouldn't be objecting. I say, right, I will refer it to the police. Roy, it appears someone has been driving my car. And I intend to find out who. Right, the police. It was me. I know. I'll take that how it is. Roy, hang up. Alex, explain yourself. The signs were there. I should have realised. But how? She wasn't walking around talking gibberish. All oh, right, like a cliche mad person. Oh, for heaven's sake. Mum, don't blame yourself. My own daughter, under my own roof. It's not your fault, Gail. If you knew something was wrong, why didn't you say something? You had all the stress with Carl. Yeah, we didn't want to worry you. This is all such rubbish! You're just doing this to try and get at her. Eh? Huh? Well, you're the drug addict, the one who's mental. Bethany. You're just jealous of her. Jealous that she stole Callum from you. Right, hang on a minute. Jealous that she's a better mum, a better person. You just want her out of the way so you can go back to being Queen Bee like you were before we came home. But I'm telling you, that is not going to happen. Bethany, look, I know it might be hard to hear. You've got to understand, though. I love you, Mum. I just want to help. There is nothing wrong with her! Right, we need to go home. Now. Stop making all these excuses, Alex. She needed to live down to the graveyard. 
Well, why you drove is neither here nor there. She was upset. You took a vehicle without the owner's consent, drove otherwise than in accordance with the licence, used a motor vehicle without insurance, and were caught exceeding the speed limit. That's four offences. I'm sorry, OK? After everything you've promised. Wouldn't you help her, damsel in distress? Not if it entail breaking the law, no. This is inexcusable, Alex. I agree. Right, OK, from now on, you will stay well away from Roy's car, OK? Mister, are you listening to me? And you can forget about driving lessons, OK? Even if you do get your provisional. Oh, what? Beg your pardon? Well, only until he's proved how uh, sorry he is. And you deem that sufficient punishment for breaking the law? Four counts? Four minor counts. The law is there for a reason. Well, nothing's black and white, Roy. On the contrary. As far as the law is concerned, everything is black and white. It must be. Either one has committed a crime or one hasn't. Either one is guilty or one is innocent. And on this occasion, we know he's guilty. So what are you saying? Well, the, the, the crime has to be dealt with as a crime. Sorry. I just have to report it. Oh, sorry, I've only just got your message now. I've tried knocking, calling. She won't answer. Maybe she's just in the bath. Yeah. Gail, Gail, she changed the locks. What? You kidding? No. Why would she do that? Sarah? I'll go around the back. Sarah, love! What's that no. behind the door? The kitchen no, chairs! What on earth is she doing? Sarah! Sarah, just leave me alone! Leave me alone! Just go away! Stop drawing attention! It's all right, it's all right, shh, it's okay, it's okay. It's not gonna hurt me. No, 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 it's not gonna hurt us, is it? It's all right, shh. Sarah! Hello, is that Weatherfield Police Station? Roy, be reasonable. I am being reasonable. No, you're not. Ah, good afternoon. I need to report a traffic violation. He borrowed your car. Stole. Borrowed since he returned it. Stole since he took it without my permission. Oh, listen, listen. Why don't you say I was driving, OK? I'll take the points on my licence and it won't affect you at all. Lie, you mean? Oh, for heaven's sakes, Roy. I can't possibly do that. Oh, please don't argue about me. This is not about you, Alex. This is oh, a matter of principle. Oh, of course it's about him. Alex! No, it's still not straight. It is. It isn't. Oh. See? It's a millimetre out. Barely. Oh, Norris, give the lad a break. It's OK, Rita. I'll adjust it. You've decided what you want, love. I'm torn between pear drops and cola cubes. Mm, pear drops every time. Yeah, but then there's lemon sherbets. Hey, have you got over your school reunion, then? I don't want to talk about it. Why not? He's just said he doesn't want to talk about it. I have the pear drops. I don't blame you for being angry, but Beth is sorry. What? What for? No, well, let me share bits. Let me share bits. Well, what's Beth sorry for? That's just a pound, love. Thanks. Thank you very much. Yeah, what did Beth do? Oh, nothing much. But I'll, I'll knock 50 pence off that magazine. She won't be bribed, Norris. Throw in a free bag of pear drops. You're on. Now. What did Beth say? Well, she dissed Kirk to her schoolmates. Oh, really? What did she say about him? Cheers for these. Look, I, I need more detail. I think you just got done there, Norris. Yes, I think I did. Sarah! Sarah! Oh. Now, come on. It's chaos in there. She's moved all the furniture. Oh, do you know, this is ridiculous. Sarah, open the door now. What's going on? I think Sarah's locked herself inside. Why? Don't know. Todd? Let me share a bit. Sarah, sweetheart. What's going on? You know. Just go away! You could be here any minute. Who's she talking about? Callum must not see you. Callum? Go away. It's private. Chase, better leave it. Yeah. <sighs> Haven't you 
Haven't you all got better things to do, huh? Sarah! What, do you think we should barge it in? Uh, we don't know what's behind there, do we? Got to be worth a try, though, ain't it? Right, well, that's £12.80, my love. Oh, uh, I've only got a tenner. Mm. Uh, right, I'll lose that. Listen, you can own me if you like. No, 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 it's fine. I need to tighten my belt anyway, and that. Hey, you don't need to talk to me about tight belts. Oh, well, surely you don't need the dosh. <laughs> right. No, it's just... Never mind. It's all kicking off over there. What is? Some bother at number eight. Oh, well, when isn't there some bother at number eight, guys? Oh, yeah. I was just coming to see you, actually. I've had enough scolding for one day, too. No, I was just going to ask if the uh, offer of the odd chip still stands. Oh, you changed your chip. Yeah, well, I need the money. Um, yeah. Great. Uh, how about tomorrow morning? Yeah, brilliant. So, uh, does the uh, 30% pay rise still stand and all? Yeah, I, th I thought we said 25, didn't oh, we? Oh, all right, fine. <laughs> oh, now I'm going to have to explain it all to Nick. I just tell him you caved in the face of my irresistible charm. Oh. Just let us in and we'll talk about it. Stop me! Just leave me alone! One more go. What are they doing? Sarah's barricaded herself in. Why? It's something to do with Callum. I thought he was dead. Oh, that poor girl. Well, it's not budging, is it? Just about the house piled up against it. Open the door, please. Oh, darling, listen to me. You need to go somewhere safe and find somewhere to hide because he might come looking for you. Bethany, get to open the door. How? Uh, just say it's just you. You just want to go in. Mum, can I come in? Just me? No, darling, it's not safe. Mum, I'm scared. I want to be with you. Right, OK, just only you, OK? OK. What are, you, what are you doing? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, it's OK. It's OK. It's OK. You liar! Yeah, OK, folks, all right, show's over, nothing more to see. Thank you. What's happened, sir? Did she flipped? Yeah, but I just feel like that she thinks Callum's alive and that he's coming to get her. She's been through a lot. He's pushed her over the edge. What's going to happen to her now? I don't know, mate. I don't know. He's coming. He's on his way. Mum, stop this. Callum's dead, sweetheart. That's what he wants you to believe, Mum. I thought that you knew. My love, you've had a stressful time. He's got you all fooled, Sarah. Sarah, why don't you just give Harry to me, yeah? No, none of you believe me. No, 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 no. We, we do. We do care. We just, we just want to protect you, that's all. No, you can't. You can't protect me. Nobody can. Shh. Oh. It's OK. Hey, can I have an ambulance, please? <laughs> You? Yeah. Welcome, babe. Mesh out. Not like you. What sort? I've messed up big time. Come on. Tell Auntie Gemma. Poor Sarah. Mm. That family haven't half been through the mill. What do you think will happen? Mm. What's up with you two? Oh, Sarah Platt's having some sort of breakdown. All oh, right. I thought we'd lost an order or something. Hey, I took your advice. Mm -hmm. Don't get used to it. Oh, well, let's have a look then. Uh, it's private. Is it underwear? Well, let's just say it's black, lacy, and shows me bits off well. I'm not hungry anymore. Mm -hmm. You're only a couple of miles over there. It still counts. It'll probably just be points on your license. 
You don't have a license, do you? Oopsie. Well, I was going to tell the police. No way. Where? He's really angry. I wouldn't normally say this, but I reckon you should turn yourself in. Really? They'll take one look at you and let you off, especially if you act all upset. You reckon? There's no wrong with using what God gave you to your own advantage. Obviously, me having a wicked rap has got me out of trouble a few times. Oh, yeah? I got nicked by the security guard shoplifting at Fresh Goes. It was only a bottle of cider, but he made a right fuss. Anyway, I just pretended I was all upset while squeezing my arms together to give me the world's biggest cleavage. I don't have your accents. No, but you've got an honest face and you're quite a good liar. Winning combo, in my opinion. Ta, but I'll just tell them the truth. Put yourself in the eye a bit, yeah? Make it look like you've been crying. No, I did break the law. I should really face some music. Well, at least let me come with you. No fit crying. I could flash in my rack. No, promise. All right. Sarah, why don't you just give Harry to me? Yeah? Look, if Callum's after you, he's going to be much safer with us, isn't he? Yeah? I suppose, yeah. Yeah. I won't let anything happen to him, all right? He's here. David Platt? Yeah, I'm the one that called. You best come in. That's Sarah. That's the baby. What's going on? Hello, Sarah. Who are you? I've come to see if you're all right. You lied. You just don't believe me at all, do you? You're confused, sweetheart. No, no, they're confused. Callum's coming to get me, but they think that he's dead. He is dead. His body was found under our garage. Uh, he was her boyfriend, the father of a baby. It's been a very traumatic time. I, I think she's, um, she's just been sent over the edge. David, you were there. You know, you know the truth. She don't know what she's talking about. You helped him escape, didn't you? You've been helping him all along. Can I come and see if you're all right, Sarah? Oh. We're here to help you. Please. Sweetie. No, you know you're in on it too. They all are. They're all helping Callum. Still not answering. He was really upset. Well, I'm sorry he's upset, Cathy, but it is his own fault. You're not still thinking of calling the police, are you? It is the correct course of action. Well, yes. Yes, for a stranger, but not for a lad who is family. But he needs to learn he cannot break the law and get away with it. How can he be so callous? For his own good. I would expect the same treatment myself. And what about me, hmm? What if I crashed into a bollard because we'd had an argument and I was upset and I'd driven off? You don't drive. Oh! That's not the point! Well, it, well in that case, yes, well, I, I, I would have to report you. I would take no pleasure in it. Can I just come and see if you're OK? Sarah. No, don't let him near me. Don't let any of them. You're perfectly safe. Please, can you take me away? Well, we can take you to the hospital where we'll be able to help you. Tell them where I am because they'll let him know. I promise, no one's going to harm you. What about Harry? I'll, I'll look after him. Harry will be well taken care of. I promise. <laughs> Hey, Todd. That was the longest church council meeting ever. I'm just on my way to Sarah's now. It'll be a relief to talk about something that isn't isolated. 
I want to come with No! Let us calm her down. Why don't you get some stuff together? Bring us along in a bit. Yeah, come on. I'll help you, sweetheart. Come on. out to look for him. There you are. Where have you been? We've been frantic. Well, some of us have. We've been at the police station. What? I went to hand myself in. What? Don't worry, they let me off. With a caution. Really? Thank heavens. And he was only two miles over the speed limit and no-one was injured. And he's got no previous. They said they would have given anyone a caution. I told them that I was sorry. I am sorry. I won't do it again. Oh, I must say, Alex, I, I, I'm impressed. It's a that's, that's very courageous thing to do. He shouldn't have had to. Gemma. He was doing me a favour because I was upset and I wanted to go to Callum's grave. It was a really nice thing to do. Yes, well, your, your desire to help is commendable. However, next time, perhaps you could escort your friend on the bus. Deal. And? Uh, should you manage to get a provisional licence, you could use the Woody for your driving lessons. Really? I don't see why not. Can I get a decent stereo for it? Perhaps. My work is done. See ya. Won't want to be ya. Interesting girl. She's ace. Who is a boo? I'll, uh, I'll give you a hand. Oh, be nice for her to have a few home comforts. Yes. What's going to happen to her? Your mum's in good hands. I'm sure she'll be fine. Well, what if she's not? Do you know, I rue the day that man came into our lives. So whoever put him under the garage, I blame. I mean, who'd do that? What kind of sick, twisted... No, can we not talk about this, please, Nick? I'm sorry for shouting at you and Kylie. Thanks for realising that my mum needed help. Why did you agree to do the work? I was just trying to humour her. But we're not charging her for anything, are we? No, of course not. There we go. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. Oh, darling, are they for me? Uh, got a message. I was going to call, yeah, but... They've just taken her off in an ambulance. Who? Sarah. Well, I could have told you that from what we'd seen before. Uh, has she been restrained? What'll happen to her now? See a psychiatrist, I suppose. What about the baby? Well, I, I imagine he'd be better off without her. What that girl needs is compassion, understanding and forgiveness. Not the ill-informed judgments of small-minded people. Excuse me. Billy. Sean. Give him a minute. That poor family. Mm. Uh, could, could we have... Interrupting her, ma. I know that you and Sarah are very close. I've tried to help her. I know. It's not your fault. You couldn't have stopped it happening. Oh, come here. I don't care. A vicar should never lose his temper. Or he should make a saint lose his temper. You serve him? I am. Fine, please. Please, don't let me apologise. If you just follow me down the street. I wanted to get you where you couldn't run away. I don't want to talk. Who said anything about talking? Look, why don't we go home and make up? Oh, how'd you wear that? Is that all you think of your husband? that he can be bored with a bit of cheap polyester, and that does look very cheap. He's right. I deserve better. Bravo. Fine. 
Stay with your new best friend. I will. Good. Good. And don't bother coming home. I won't. Good. Where am I supposed to stay? Norris has a spare room. Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait a minute. Now, listen, Norris, if you can't stand the heat, don't light the gas ring. I, I, I was impressed with Alex today. He, he's, a, he's a good lad. Obviously, I'm relieved I didn't have to take the matter further. Look, I, I'm, I'm sorry if you feel I was inflexible, but... Inflexible isn't the word, Roy. Cold is the word. I thought you were a kind man. It's one of the things I loved most about you. You'd, you'd better come through. Uh, you, you, you can stay in Emily's room. Cheers. But, but just for tonight. Mind if I sit? Oh, huh? Please. Can I put the telly on? Oh, uh, well, there's nothing on. There's always some on. Oh, but, yeah, but, but not something worth watching. I, I, I go through the schedule every morning. Would you like would you like to play a, a, a game? What kind of game? I don't know, Scrabble, chess, uh, drafts. Was well, that the one where the counters jump over each other? Yeah, that's right. But I think I played that once. Oh, God, yeah, well, well, sit you down here, see. Like a boiled leg in the morning. Beautiful. Huh? <laughs> Good. What have you been born into, eh? My sweet Harry. Yeah, cheers, Dev. Thanks, mate. How are you? Bye. Yeah, he's gonna pick up Max from football with Addy and let him stay over. Thought you were right about Sarah. Bully for me. I should have done something sooner. Look, we just have to walk. Whatever she tells the doctors, they just put it down to her being delusional. I don't even care anymore. Kai. We did that to her, David. Us. <laughs> well, me. Babe, you, you were trying to save a life. Callum was my past. Mine. Babe. Maybe I should just go and hand myself in. Don't talk daft. That way it doesn't matter what Sarah says. Kylie, you're going to stay strong, all right? We both are. For the kids, for us, for Sarah. Do you hear me? If you've been affected by issues raised in tonight's episode of Coronation Street, you can visit itv.com slash advice for further information. Well, next, an ITV news special keeping us up to date throughout the night as the votes come in. Stay with us for the referendum results live.